Hi, welcome to Team Wool Sheep Reviews. Done. This was my Mark One version, which I shows on Depron Designs. And then what I've done, I put a, I bought a cheap Taro GPS um, OSD, so I can see where I am and where home is. And I've mounted the camera there. And the camera, guess what, is on pan. I'm bothered with the tilt. Got it tilted down slightly, and it's on pan. So this allows me to be able to look left and right with my head tracker. Oh yes, head tracking is awesome. When you bank a wing and you turn it on its side to turn, quite often you've got the nose slightly elevated. Where are you looking? Up in the air. Where do you want to go? I'm going over there. Where's over there? I don't know. When you can tilt like that, it gives you that perspective because you can see the land in front of you and you can actually track as you're turning and before you know when to level out so you know exactly where you are because there's nothing worse than coming out of a turn leveling out and thinking have I turned enough do I know where I am and then you're having to correct by roll a bit messy a bit nicer if you can just use your head tracker look to slightly to the left and away to go that is superb and that was well recommended like I said this is a, a run cam Sky Plus so I've had it for a while it's a very good camera and works works well there's lots of choice on the market you can go smaller more aerodynamic now when I started this we had big board cams they were horrible looking things I've got uh, the LR9 is it the long range free sky setup on there so I put the antennas there I fully intend to change this to UHF and get rid of that and I maybe slip the UHF aerial on the tail somewhere out the way and uh, yeah so this was it this was my mark one it was big heavy uh, I never after flying the the mark two I thought ah, this this it feels a lot heavier and it was struggling by that one but what I did because I went to the extra effort of putting a bigger battery bay having the FPV on this I had to do something else because it struggled for power it was struggling. The motor that I recommended was um, uh, 2200 kV, but it was a 28 mil motor. So what I have to do with this one is I had to up the ante and I put a 35 mil motor, and I think it's about an 1800 kV. Yep, it's a 35, 36, 1800 kV motor, and the ESC is probably about 70 amp. To, to cope with the with it you'll have to check it out and that thing really really has the power to push it you don't need any more obviously there's extra weight from that but I've got extra weight from the battery on the front I've got a bigger battery in there this this is designed to take a 4 amp 3s battery so in this I've got a 4 amp 3s battery I get good flight times and this thing flights really nice so please check out Depron Designs and go and build yourself a Vulcan and you won't be sorry because once you start you will want to build more.
I got three. I have the, the Mark 1, I have my Mark 2, and I've got the EDF version. And I love them. It, it, to see something you've created flying is spectacular. It's, it will blow your mind. That concludes the video. So all i got to say is go buy some Depron and build one. You will not be sorry. You will love it. I love it. Why not subscribe? You can see the button below. So thank you very much. Hope you enjoy. Subscribe and see you again soon. Bye.